Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is um, day eight of the Lico Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem and also the weekly problem coming up. Uh, yeah. Also, I want to click on, I feel like I don't click on this enough these days. But if you click on contest, see, uh, on the, well, I don't know, on this side. You see the feeling lucky button. If you click on it, you get ten lead coins. So yeah, I I sometimes I remember to do it. Sometimes I don't. Well, most of the days I don't. In fact, whatever you see on stream is in stream. But yeah, uh, today I I did about like an hour of waiting. I also start doing uh, is it clean? Uh, basically, uh, Olympics queens uh, at a very low rate just to kind of get my power going. Uh, my shoulders a little bit tired as a result, but that's okay. And then I just ran like five miles on the treadmill because. It's been raining and pouring all week. Though t today, ironically, be uh, because I did that, it did not rain. So, eh, oh well. These are the bricks. Anyway, let's take a look at today's farm. 885 Spiral Matrix 3. You start at the cell, okay, uh, uh, of a rose columns, grid facing east. The northwest is on the first row. Do, 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 do. What do these hours mean? Two, three, four. Okay, I see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Oh, oh, because they give you the starting and then. Okay, I see, I see. Yeah, okay. I mean, this is what. Uh, this is kind of a, a simulation problem where you just have to um, d be good about it. Um, I don't think there's anything um, really tricky about the idea of these things. I mean, I think everyone kind of gets the idea. But what definitely is, like, uh, it is very easy to make silly mistakes and on edge cases and stuff like this, right? So definitely implementation matters. Uh, I have to kind of think about how they want to do this, actually. Th this, like, weird outside looping thing is a little bit awkward. Mm. Right, but yeah, I mean, I think it's just simulation. I don't think there's anything tricky, but it is. Oh, yeah, it's supposed to, this is a re really weird way to output it. I was gonna. Hmm. Uh, I mean, I think there are two ways to think about it, and I'm trying to debate which one is better. One is just simulate the stuff outside the cell. You know, for example, if I'm looking at this example one and just kind of, you know, have a fake three that goes bottom and then, you know, just walk, walk around, right? But... But, yeah... Uh, I mean, so that's one that way. The other way is to see if you can figure out a smart way to do it without simulating the outside things, right? I think the, the, probably simulating the outside thing is... Uh, what is it? A, a hundred? But with n is equal to hundred, it should be fine. Because I think the worst case is something like example two, right? Where... Given n, so then for each row you do um, four times n, right? So if you do it that way, then um, if you count like in a, uh, let me try to find my drawing thing. I don't know. I'm trying. So basically, what I'm trying to do is just try to figure out worst case analysis, right? Of of my proposed algorithm, right? And that that matters um, because you know it's just comp. I mean it's. Yeah, I mean, you have to figure out either the complexity or the running time or both, uh, where, you know, the actual constant actually matters at a certain point. But but let's say, I don't know, oh, oh I already have here. But let's say, you know, you have a, a grid, right? And you have some weird thing that goes, you know, uh, I don't even know, right? So, 
it goes here, do 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 do, right? So this is in the input, but let's say that for whatever reason, um, you know, we, uh, you know that, that's a complicated thing to analyze, like the one in the input where you go do 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 do, and then do do, right? And then do do, and then so forth, right? So that's a little bit complicated to kind of count the simulations outside, maybe, maybe not, but we can f write a more, um, uh, a more even worse case, I, I guess, to kind of figure out. And maybe it's something like, you know, you start here, right? And then you do, 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 do. So that's even worse. But let's say if we have a, a similar case where, you know, maybe it goes up, right? And then it does three times n number of loops, right? Uh, or like a simulation outside, do another thing. It does another three times n, say. Uh, I mean, I don't think this is the quite exactly the same, but I'm just giving an example of, uh, like and something that would be worse than what we're doing to qu to create an upper bound, right? So let's say this is probably this is not even three times n, but let's say it is three times n, right? Then what happens? Well, we have n of these rows or columns, and you have three times n for each. That means that in the worst case, it's just going to be three times n square, which uh, n is a hundred, so um, n being the the uh, one row, not the entire number of cells. So in that case, that sounds okay, right? Because it's just three times n square. Then, you know, uh, um, if it's just three times n square, then yeah, n is a hundred. Three three times n square is like thirty thousand, right? So that should be good enough. And of course, keeping in mind that I know that this is not what we're simulating, but it is uh, a worse case than what we're simulating, right? So it gives us an upper bound as to what to simulate. Okay, uh, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, okay. It is so awkward, <laughs> to be honest. I, I don't know. These problems, uh, I just, you know, yeah. And yeah, now that we're fast enough, then we should be able to kind of go about it. So, and we should. And here the idea, I think one, uh, one way is kind of think about how to do it, right? Is that, um... The way that I would think about it, and you're trying to figure a pattern so that you can simulate this in a better way, then I don't know. I mean, there are a lot of ways to do it, but this is the way that I'm thinking about it. And the way to figure out this pattern is that for every direction as you go forward, you ask yourself, can I turn to the right? Oh, yeah, can I move to the south to my right? If it is, if I can, then I, I turn to the right and go forward. Um, I think that will give you the answer, basically. Um, yeah, and there's some handling with the outside, but I think that should be uh, good. So the directions, uh, we always begin going to the right, or, um, I guess that's called yeast, right? Um, but yeah, so you have direction, so yeast is going to be d, uh, 0 dx, uh, 1 dy, going to the right, right, y being left, right for me, x being up, down, uh, rows and columns, maybe that's a little bit cleaner. Um, and then next, we, when we turn right from looking, you know, uh, it's going to be down. So that's going to be, I guess, 1. Yeah, because it's plus 1 going down. And then, um, because 0, 0 is, um, yeah. And then now, when you turn right again, it's going to go to the left, right? So this is just 0 minus 1. And then the last one is just going up, and you have this thing, right? Uh, okay. Uh, okay. So that, those are the directions, and then the uh, and then the uh, current facing thing, right? So then now maybe you have answer is you go to R start C start. Maybe the current X Y is you go to R start. C start, um, right, and then the D for direction is you go to zero, right, and then now, yeah, I'm trying to think, what what is the queen way to do it? I don't even know what the queen way to do it is, but.
because you certainly can make an argument that uh, you know because there are other patterns right just to be clear because um, yeah I, I want to make, make that clear for example you could say that this goes uh, one step a number of times and then two steps and then three steps and then four steps and then so forth right so you could there are other patterns I don't want people to think there's only one way to write this uh, in fact, I did this a couple of years ago, so I maybe, you know, we'll go over it afterwards just in case I did it another way. But, uh, but yeah, for today, I want to try something new about, like, if we can only go straight and right, right, or turn. So then now, um, okay. Yeah, okay. Then maybe with do, 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 right and then scene dot add x y something like this and then now we have while length of scene is um less than uh I want to say all times c but I I I don't want to do this map every time eh, it's okay fine let's just write it this way then you know also eh, okay I I don't know just okay fine. Right, so while this is true, then we keep on going, or maybe the answer, um, they should be equivalent, but I don't know if that's better, right? So then now we're currently at x, y, we're going to go forward, or we're going to see, um, yeah, we're going to go forward, right, so uh, dx dy is equal to directions of d and then nx and y is equal to x plus dx y plus dy right um yeah and then now answer that a pen nx and y because that's the new answer and then now we ask can we turn to the right um or is there anything, is there, is the cell to, to the right taken? All right. Maybe we have to be a little bit careful here, I don't know. I mean, we, we'll, we'll, we'll play around this. I think the way that I'm doing it is a little bit wonky, but uh, it's fine. Yeah, and then to the right, it's going to be D plus 1, right? D plus 1 mod 4, uh, let's say all D for right direction i suppose and then now uh yeah oh in this case uh yeah dx dy is equal to directions of rd and then nx and y is equal to x plus dx y plus dy and if nx and y is not in scene then we can turn to the right so then now d is equal to rd Otherwise, we just ignore and we just go forward uh, next. The only thing that I would change is that um, oh, scene.add nx and y, um, but only if nx and, uh, yeah, if they're within bounds. But if it's our bounds, it's fine. It's just that we don't return it to the answer. I think that should be okay, but maybe not. We'll see. <laughs> uh, oh, that maybe I need to spell directions correctly. Yeah. It's a very really awkward one. The, the way that I'm doing it's very really awkward. But you can see that. Well, it looks okay. But um, okay, is this good though? I don't know. So let's give a YOLO submit. Maybe it's wrong. Okay. I mean, uh, th these problems. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it always feels nice to get it right on the first try only because I'm not confident about it at all, you know? Uh, and so, you know, um, I think this is, I think that, yeah, like I said, I think the two patterns. So I think the other way of just like doing it, uh, uh, let's see how I did it last time. Uh, I just want to do something a little bit different. Yeah. So here you can see that I just go right one, then down. And left. so this is very brute force in a way of taking it uh, L1, number of steps and yeah very precise about the number of steps but uh but here the idea is a little bit different but so that's why the code's a little bit different but 
It's kind of cool. Wait, oh, uh, maybe add the comment up. Uh, turn to the right. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's fine. Right? Uh, yeah, I mean, this is kind of cool. I think the biggest worry, as I said, is... Uh, so what I do is I, I actually still walk outside the box. It's just that I don't add it to the answer, right? Um, so I still walk outside the box, but I, I don't walk, you know, I don't... Yeah. So the the thing about the analysis is that we worry that we spend too much time outside because that, the inside is going to be over one per cell. So you don't worry about it that much because, you know, that's going to be the size of the output. So you can't really do better than that. It's how much time you spend on the outside. And in this case, it at most, it's just going to be... Um, Yeah, as we kind of drew it out, at most it's going to be three times n, which means that for every one column, or wh well, whatever, depending on how you want to do it, you're going to do three times n, right, at most. Um, and it's actually less than that, right? But in theory, you, so, you know, we're, we're trying to create an upper bound. So uh, let's just say we do three times n for each column, because there's no way to kind of do it per each cell, right? So th that's just, you know, that makes it fast enough. Uh, yeah, cool. That's all I have for this one. Uh, I hope I have a video for the other explanation, but I think it should be pretty okay. I don't know. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, I definitely did this one a little bit funky way, but uh, hopefully it's okay. Let's see with the solution simulation. All right, this is the thing that I was I did it the other way. Uh, and I guess... No? Uh, okay, they didn't really do it the way that I did it. I mean, well, I did this way last time. But... Uh, yeah, well, that's what I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Um, yeah, I want. I think for this, for problems like this, um, yeah, that's why I want to put emphasis on the fact that there, there are no one correct answer. There are many ways to think about these things. There are many ways to write these. Um, the code does, you know, uh, sometimes it represents how you think about it. Sometimes it doesn't. But yeah, that's what I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, come to Discord. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.